Hi welcome back to our channel in this video I will telling about where I explore the fascinating history behind the popular TV show Outlander. In this video, I will talk about the Battle of Saratoga, which was a turning point of the American Revolutionary War and featured prominently in Season 7 of Outlander. I will also discuss the role of Benedict Arnold, who was a hero of the battle before he became a traitor. The Battle of Saratoga was actually a series of two battles that took place in September and October of 1777 in upstate New York. The British Army, led by General John Burgoyne, had invaded from Canada with the aim of cutting off New England from the rest of the colonies. However, they faced fierce resistance from the American forces, commanded by General Horatio Gates and his subordinate, General Benedict Arnold. The first battle, also known as the Battle of Freeman's Farm, occurred on September 19. The British attacked the American positions on Venice Heights, but were met with heavy fire from the American riflemen, including Jamie Fraser in Outlander's version of events. Jamie's illegitimate son William, who had joined the British Army as an officer, also participated in the battle and witnessed the horrors of war for the first time. The British managed to hold the field at the end of the day, but suffered twice as many casualties as the Americans. The second battle, also known as the Battle of Themis Heights, took place on October 7. The British made another attempt to break through the American lines, but were repulsed by a series of coordinated attacks led by Benedict Arnold. Arnold had been relieved of his command by Gates after a bitter dispute, but he defied orders and rode into the fray to rally the troops. He was wounded in the leg during the battle, but his actions turned the tide in favor of the Americans. The British retreated to Saratoga and were surrounded by a larger American force. On October 17, Burgoyne surrendered his entire army of about 6,000 men. This was a decisive victory for the Americans as it boosted their morale and convinced France to enter the war as their ally. Benedict Arnold was hailed as a hero for his performance at Saratoga, but he soon became disillusioned with the American cause. He felt that he was not given enough recognition or reward for his services, and that he was unfairly accused of corruption and misconduct by his enemies. He also married a young loyalist woman named Peggy Shippen, who influenced him to switch sides. In 1780, Arnold plotted to betray West Point, a strategic fort on the Hudson River, to the British, However, his plan was exposed when his contact, Major John Ander, was captured by the Americans. Arnold escaped to join the British Army, while Ander was hanged as a spy. Arnold fought against his former comrades until the end of the war, but he was never trusted or respected by either side. He died in London in 1801, reviled as a traitor by Americans and forgotten by Britons. Outlander's depiction of Saratoga and Arnold is mostly accurate, although it compresses some events and add some fictional characters. For example, in Outlander Season 7 Episode 8, Turning Points, Claire meets Arnold at her tent and trades some Sing Chona Bark for Laudanum. She also mentions that she knows about his future treason and tries to dissuade him from it. This is an interesting twist that shows how Claire's knowledge of history can affect her interactions with historical figures. Another example is when Jamie faces William on the battlefield and spares his life. This is a dramatic moment that highlights their complicated father-son relationship and their conflicting loyalties. However, there is no evidence that William ever fought at Saratoga or met Jimmy there. The Battle of Saratoga was one of the most important events in American history and Outlander does a good job of portraying its significance and impact. It also shows how Benedict Arnold went from being a hero to a villain in a matter of years, and how his legacy is still controversial today. Thanks for watching please like, share and give feedback.